is this do or die for, for John Huntsman? He, uh, he skipped Iowa. Yeah, it really is. I mean, he has put all of his investment into this state. Um, he's been practically living here, as we've said, and he has been campaigning nonstop. He says he's now up to about 170 campaign events here, which is, um, you know, by comparison, John McCain, who really barnstormed this state, did about half that or less. So. Um, he is seeing some results of that, though. Um, there's a new Suffolk uh, University poll out um, with overnight polling results, and he's up to 16%. Um, so he and Ron Paul are within two percentage points of each other. That's within the poll's margin of error for second place. So, th I mean, th that's not bad, but it, it, not bad, but it is a, a distant second place from Mitt Romney. So some of the places he's been going, according to your story, Fort Harry's Restaurant in Lebanon, Daddy's Pop Tumble Inn um, in Claremont, Mary's Bakery and Cafe in Henneker. I mean, it's, it sounds like this guy's going to put on a ton of, ton of weight um, if he's not careful. <laughs> is he having yeah. a... When he gets there, though, I can vouch for the fact that he doesn't eat anything. Oh, he, he doesn't eat anything. <laughs> you, you have to look. <laughs> we could do a whole separate item on the experience standing waistlines of these candidates, and he's happily exempted. I don't know how that happens. I, that, that is interesting, though, because that is one of these things, when you meet and greet people, it is, it is rather um, hard to say, say no know when they're, when they're giving you something nice and tasty and it's, it's freezing up there in, in, in New Hampshire. Um, <laughs> so he is seen as the, the moderate, as the compromiser du jour. I know people were criticizing Newt Gingrich for being a compromiser, and then he, he, he started on a, a, a negative campaign. but. Is that sort of the compromise of the guy who was part of the Obama administration? Is that working for him in New Hampshire? Well, you know, that's sort of a curious thing because I would have said to you a week ago when I got here, no, it's really not. You could see that it was not resonating with people, that they didn't know who he was. In fact, he was on a factory floor, and the first question was, can you explain who are you, which has got to be just demoralizing for someone who has spent weeks doing nothing but meeting New Hampshireites. So, um, but lately, and I think this is, um, you know, the, the Gingrich attacks on um, Mitt Romney, the whole Bain conversation, has proven to be something of a foil for this guy. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he was able to stand there in the, in the debates and say, I'm all about serving my country, attitudes like this, meaning Mitt Romney's attack of him serving President Obama as ambassador to China, mm -hmm. attitudes like this are what divide the country. I mean, he's tried to position himself this way since the start, and there were times when it sounded almost ridiculous in a, in a field and in, a, in a, an era right now where people are so divided and so uh, partisan. But um, lately, you've heard people on the trail say that they kind of crave this bipartisanship, and particularly independents who make up an enormous percentage of the electorate here. I mean, there are 43 percent un undeclared so-called undeclared voters. And while most of those tend to vote Republican, mm -hmm. there is a big chunk of them that tend to vote Democratic or are true independents. Those folks tend to either skip the primary altogether or they tend to choose a more bipartisan-minded candidate. So those late deciders, um, they, they could be a, a big deal in, in, a, in further on in their campaign if they skip the primary is what, is what you're saying, right? Well, um, if they come out for the primary, they could be absolutely decisive for a candidate like John Huntsman, because those folks are the ones who are in his wheelhouse. Uh, I've, quick, quick question here. I mean, he's been going around the state, you know, visiting every um, cafe and hole in the wall restaurant. Um, he, th th and that's great, and that seems to be working for him. I think As Harvey's Bakery would take exception to that. Well, I, I'm sorry, I didn't know it, but but he's been visiting a lot of watering holes, shall we say, and he's <laughs> right. been going there. He cannot do that for the whole U.S. I mean, I don't even think you know, a British Prime Minister could do that for the whole of the UK, and it's a lot smaller. There's no way that a, camp a national campaign can be run by going to the equivalent of Mary's Bakery and Cafe and Dad's Pop Tumble Inn all over the US. It just can't be done. Mm -hmm. And I, I like to eat and drink, so I, I couldn't even do that. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, yesterday was sort of a specific day. He was really trying to do a lot of photo ops and collect, um, you know, connect with voters. 
and also just make a series of soundbite-type speeches. Um, but he's also, I mean, he had a rally in Exeter, New Hampshire last night, which drew um, a couple, if not several hundred people. Um, and he tends to really kind of rock the house in those bigger venues. I was with him in um, Peterborough also last week at this you know, very historic, picturesque town hall where all the candidates have gone. And there are people who were highly receptive to him. It's in a smaller group where he tends to be a little bit more awkward, which is unusual because a lot of candidates are exactly the opposite. But um, he's made a nice showing in the debates over the weekend. He desperately needed that. I mean, his country first thing, they've turned... This, today they've got an ad out where they've turned his entire answer to that question about country first and why did you serve Obama as the as the ambassador to China, and they just set music to the answer, and that's the sum substance of the ad, which really made me think, wow, that that's really um, that was not so pithy sounding without a, a music <laughs> backing, but um, he is you know he's pretty good in those bigger venues, but. Um, yeah, I mean, he's today he won't really be campaigning at all. He's just going to vote at noontime at a um, small school polling place mm. here in Manchester, and then he's got his quote-unquote victory party this evening. Victory party, and maybe he'll make some starts off at some muffin shops or something. Who, who knows?